use some of the protective devices to use to reduce the likelihood of the electrical shock? These are the controls to mitigate the electrical risks. Fuses, earthing, isolation of supply, double insulation, residual current devices RCD, reduced and low voltages, competent person. What factors shall be considering while implement the frequency of PAT? Frequency is determined by legal standards and codes of practice, type of equipment, manufacturer's recommendations, initial integrity slash soundness of the equipment, age of the equipment, working environment, frequency and duration of use, foreseeable abuse of the equipment. Effects of any modifications or repairs, analysis of previous maintenance records. What are the advantages and limitations of fuses? Advantages of fuses, very cheap and reliable, offer a good level of protection for the electrical equipment against current overload that might damage the equipment or cause overheating, fire, or explosion. Limitations or disadvantage of fuses. They primarily protect equipment and not people. It is possible to receive a severe, even fatal, electrical shock from equipment that is protected by a fuse for two reasons. Identify three main protection used for electrical shock, explain the earthing how it can protect the person. Three main protections for the electrical shock are, earthing, residual current device, Double insulation. Earthing is method to protect the workers from getting electrical shock. It is done by connecting outer metal casing of the equipment by a conductor wire and other end of the wire connected to earth. This setup provides low resistance path to earth for the fault current. If someone touch the casing of the equipment the shock will be minor or nil which is not dangerous. The electrical powered equipment shall be made dead when working on them. How to ensure that equipment is dead? Before working on a machine check the following to ensure it is dead. Isolation and lock off. Warning signs are in place. Prove test equipment. Prove dead. Prove test equipment again. Outline the factors that could make the severity of electrical shock high. Following factors can make the severity of shock high. Voltage The higher the voltage, the greater the current and shock severity will be high. Duration of contact, the length of time that a person is exposed to the electrical hazard, longer the exposure sever the shock, current path the route that the electricity takes through the body, if this route is to the heart side, it will be high shock. Frequency of the AC current is high then shock will be severe. Resistance skin condition, clothing, or any other thing that reduce the resistance such as humidity or wet condition can make the shock high. Contact surface area The more skin that is in contact, the more severe the injury. Environmental factors Metal surfaces, humidity and similar other things that can be become high conductor of the electricity the shock will be high. Live working is only permitted under certain circumstances what are these? What controls are needed? Live working is generally only permitted in law if it is not possible to work dead. If live working, the following controls are needed. Safe system of work in place to ensure that the live work can be carried out safely. This safe system of work is likely to make use of the following controls, permit to work system, competent persons, insulating PPE such as gauntlets and boots, insulated tools and equipment such as screwdrivers, designated work areas such as earth-free zones.